welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle Spieler. If you are new here, I'm a 25 year, well, more like a 30 year pro makeup artist. I'm the creator of Mature Makeup Masterclass. You can always go find that link in any of my descriptions um, or if you're over on Instagram, TikTok, it's always in my link tree. It's 23 videos on mature technique using all products under the sun, all budgets, okay? We are also the Look Good Close Up Club. So if you are new here and you would love to be part of the Look Good Close Up Club, we are a community of mature women that all love and support one another. And all you have to do is just show up week after week and engage with one another and you're in, okay? We do makeup that looks pretty close up. I do not do social media makeup. I do not do trends. Um, well, sometimes I do fun trends, but I'll do fun trends that work for mature skin um, so that we always look beautiful close up. Today, I'm gonna do one half of my face with Charlotte Tilbury um, and other high-end products, not just Charlotte Tilbury. And then I'm gonna do the other half with mostly e.l.f., but I'll probably have a few other products in there too. And if I have to stop this video, it's not to like, cheat any edits. I, I don't do heavily edit, edited videos. I like to just turn on the camera and talk to you like we're, you know, in an appointment one-on-one -on -one together teaching you makeup. Um, I like to do it in real time, but there might be a few things that I have to grab that I might've forgotten. I do have, <laughs> here's my drugstore. Here's my more higher end. Um, and I have nowhere to put any of this. I have nowhere to put any of it. So, um, hold on, let's see. We are gonna, see already this is a debacle, but I really want to see if I can mimic that Charlotte Tilbury look because I did it a few weeks ago. It is so stunning. I love Charlotte Tilbury. I have for a very long time. I just like her style. She just her style just speaks to me. It's very glam, but it's very pretty. It's very um, pretty close up. She loves skin. That's why she got known um, in the model community is because her magic skin was so beautiful. Models loved it. And I will use a little magic skin today because it's a great primer. I'm not using SPF today because now at, I'm filming this at like four o'clock. Okay, and I'm not going anywhere and I haven't been near windows and I've, it's been a day already, okay? So I'm not wearing SPF today, but wear it every single day. Okay, I think we can get started. Um, many of you asked on my Charlotte Tilbury video if I could do that same look using drugstore. I know money is tight. I'm seeing it firsthand. Um, I think September is going to be the first month where it's going to be tight for my family. Um, and I see prices going up and, you know, paychecks aren't going up. Um, my husband might be getting a job just part time, but something that he's passionate about. So if you all could keep that in prayer for me, um, every little bit helps, you know. And here we go. We're going to do the magic cream and to be fair I'm going to do it on both sides of my face because hold on let me find let me use like a little spoon just because it's such a pretty skin prep so I'm gonna do it on both sides and I'm also gonna come back I know that um I know that I'm starting late, but I also take my makeup off pretty late at night some nights. So I'm going to leave this on for about seven or eight hours and take this off at about like 11 or midnight tonight. And I'll come back and show you before I do how it held up. Although to be honest, I'm literally sitting in the house opening PR and checking emails and my husband, um, I got him to start watching the show Chosen. He's never seen it. I've seen it three times now. <laughs> I've seen three, season one three times now. Um, but season two, I've only seen once. I've never seen season three, four, and five is about to come out. So, or not come out, they're about to film it. 
Okay, so we got the Magic Cream on and it feels so amazing because it's got a, I think she put occlusive in there and I love anything with occlusive, as you know, as you well know. In fact, I love occlusive so much, we're gonna use it on the luxury side and we're gonna use it on the budget side. trying to think of what to call this today because I don't want to do Charlotte Tilbury versus Elf because I am going to have other brands, but I certainly could call it um, Bougie versus Budget, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We can definitely do my Bougie and Budget series. I think we're going to get pretty close. I mean, it's not going to match 100%. You know, I hate the word dupe. I don't, I don't use the word dupe anywhere. You won't see dupe anywhere on my TikTok anywhere on my Instagram and anywhere on my YouTube. The reason I hate the word dupe is because it's been used incorrectly. People use it for clickbait. What a true dupe is, and you can even look up the diction in the dictionary, but what a true dupe is, is that if you took Elf setting spray with the milk setting spray, which is who they knocked off, and you didn't know which was which, they were the both of the labels were covered and you did a blind study, like one on each side and wore it for eight hours. How does it look initially? How does it look at the end of the day? If they look identical initially and they look identical at the end of the day, then you have a true dupe. But nobody does that. They just say it's a dupe because they want you to click because they you like to save money and everyone likes, oh, how can I stick it to, you know, Chanel, how can I stick it to Charlotte Tilbury by getting a more affordable? Well, you can't, you can't always. Now we can come close. We can do a beautiful look using e.l.f. I've done it many times, but let's not call it a dupe because it doesn't always hold up as long as higher end. And I will admit a lot of times in higher end, you are paying for expensive packaging. It's true. Look at this one hair that is just, I cut my bangs, I cut my, my curtain fringe, and now I've got these weird wonky pieces. Okay, I'm primed, I'm ready, I need something on my lips. My lips feel horrible. I'm gonna use, oh, this is Dime. Has anyone used Dime? They sent me some stuff and I'm pretty impressed. I like it. This has a slight peach tint to it which me, I love all things peach, so that works for me. Okay. Okay. Mmm, that's sweet. Tastes like sugar. Okay, first things first, we are going to start with the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter and the Halo Glow. Now, they're slightly different colors, um, but I'm gonna use it anyway. Um, you want to put them on the high points of your face. Yeah, I've got hairs in my face that are driving me nuts. Um, this is going to be trickier on the nose, so I think I'm just going to do the higher end one on the nose. Um, maybe a little bit right there. Okay, we got that. I am shade number three. I love shade number three. And then in the halo, um, I think I am shade, I don't know. Lord have mercy. These drugstore labels kill me. You know how I feel about drugstore labels. Uh, shade number one, fair. Now normally I'm not fair skin, but because this is going underneath as a pretty highlighter, it's okay. See, look, that actually looks darker than that. So see, right off the bat, that's not a dupe. They don't look the same. This is lighter and has a little bit more luminosity and this is deeper and yet this is fair and this is like a light medium. So already we're off to a different start. Okay, we're just gonna put it there. We can always come back later and use these later. And I'm gonna use my beautiful sponge by Cami Nguyen. I 
I don't put highlighter up here on my upper lip because we don't want to look like we're having a hot flash. Don't always watch what the young women do. This is why I created Mature Makeup Masterclass. I was watching women do crazy things and thinking, you know, some women knew right away it didn't look right. And some women would rock it and think that they looked young and cute because that's how they felt but it didn't look right because they were putting highlighter all over the face where mature women should have put highlighter. Okay, so glowy, 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 glowy. I will say they are probably within about, I'm looking in the mirror, they're probably within about 10% in similarity but the Hollywood Flawless Filter is a little bit more blurring and, and it's, see how it's a softer and this is a sharper glow and this is a softer, more diffused glow. That's the difference. That's why you cannot say that e.l.f. and this are a dupe. They're similar, but they're not dupes, okay? Please help me spread that word. It drives me nuts on YouTube, all the dupes. They're not dupes. They're only a dupe if they are literally the same look feel and long wearing at the end of the day, at the end of a wear test, blind study, you can't tell which is which, that's a true dupe. And let me tell you, I've not really come across one. It's really a misused word and it's for clickbait. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do eyes first because we know how I feel. When we don't do eyes, if, it can get messy, right? Eyes can get messy. I'm gonna do brows, even though I hate doing brows on camera, but so many of you said you love it. So I'm gonna do, this is an e.l.f. brow. I like the e.l.f. brow pencils, by the way. I mean, if you're just in a hurry, I don't know that I would use this if I was going anywhere super special, but I didn't exfoliate this morning and I'm seeing some little flakes and that's making me mad. I totally forgot to exfoliate. Normally in the shower, I use the Sonia Roselli Sex Appeal, but today I was like, oh, I'm gonna use the Dr. Dennis Gross Ultra Gentle Peeling Pads. And I forgot. <laughs> and I am flaking. I am completely pilling and flaking and that makes me so angry. Okay. This side, I'm kind of right here. So look, that's equal. This side's pilling more, but this side a little bit too. And that's literally because I didn't exfoliate. Okay, that's a nice eyebrow. What color is this? I don't know. I don't know, it doesn't say. It probably said on the outer packaging and I took that off. Again, this is why I freaking hate drugstore packaging. I understand they have to keep costs low. I understand they have to do all the heavy plastic wraps to you know keep people from trying it in the store, to keep people from you know, stealing it, but doggone it, it drives me nuts. But that's a nice eyebrow. Okay, so that is a little bit more ashy. This was probably one that I bought back when I was um, a blonde. But you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do, should we do Ilya blonde? Is this Ilya? No, this is color. Okay, we can't do color pop because that is not. Caramel is two. Okay, here's a blonde one by Anastasia. <laughs> Look at the tip. Looks like I melted it. I'm, I'm sluggish today, y'all. I apologize. You know what I found out? Um, my husband picked up my progesterone yesterday and last night I'm opening it up. It's really late. It's probably 1230 at night 
and I'm opening it up. I'm about to take one progesterone, so I always take it right before I go to bed, and something on the label caught my eye, and it said, take two every day, and I was like, what? In North Carolina, my prescription always said, take one, and then somehow when I got a new doctor here, they probably put me on a different type, and now it says take two a day. Well, I've been taking one a day for four or five months. That's a problem. One, you have to have the progesterone because it can, um, if you take an estradiol patch without progesterone, you can actually um, get uterine cancer. You have to take them together. Um, secondly, I've been, you know, not, I've been kind of sluggish. You guys know this. I've been talking about how I'm kind of melancholy and sluggish. Well, is it because I'm not taking enough progesterone? So I took two progesterone last night and we'll see how that goes. But I, I'll tell you, I did sleep better last night. I toss and turn all night. It's so frustrating. And my mom and I used to visit nursing homes just to just to visit people who are alone and don't have family visiting and just to talk to people and let them feel important. You know, we used to love to do that, my mom and I. One thing a woman told us, I'm gonna do a shadow primer, two-faced on this eye, elf on this eye. One thing a woman told us when we went to talk to her, and she was probably in her 90s, we were talking about how, you know, we just don't sleep anymore. I was younger, so I was still in perimenopause. I was probably in my 40s. But we were talking to this woman, and she's like, oh, honey, you won't sleep the rest of your life. I haven't had a good night's sleep the ever since I had babies. And I listen, I was the best sleeper in the world up until I had Gracie. Now, I had Gracie on my 40th birthday, so for 39 years, I, I had excellent sleep for 39 years. And then, you know, you have a baby, you don't sleep well, but it's worth it because you love them so much. And then you think, oh great, now they're older, I can get back to sleeping. No, because then menopause sets in. Okay, there we go, two-faced versus elf. Okay. Now, you know what we gotta do? Before we do eyes, we have to do some powder because powder blends on powder. So I think I just resolved to the fact that I'm just never gonna sleep well the rest of my life. If anyone out there is in their 70s and 80s, could you please let us younger gals know if <laughs> you sleep well? I need someone to give me hope. It's very disappointing. Okay, I did this when I did the Charlotte Tilbury video, but remember I put the copper under it. Today we're going just pure neutral. We're staying very neutral um, because I want to and also because, um, so I'm gonna start with this kind of, do you see how this is kind of a rosy, I don't know what color is that kind of a rosy brown I'm gonna keep this really simple and I, I have something similar by elf so I'm gonna build this up on the eyelid in the crease and it's blending really really well one because it's Charlotte Tilbury so of course it is but I put that powder on so powder blends on powder I want you to remember that cream makeup blends on cream powder blends on powder. I'm going to take it and pinch it too because I want it under the eyes as well. I did a downturned eye yesterday. It's kind of a Korean trend. I like to try things just to see if a mature woman can pull it off. And um, I didn't like how I looked at the end of the day. I liked it at first and at the end of the day I was like, ooh. I don't think this is very flattering on my eye shape. And then my daughter came home 
She's brutally honest and she's like, mom, I don't like your eye makeup. I'm like, too much? She's like, no, I, well, yeah, but no, I don't know what it is. And I'm like, oh, I did a downturned eye. She's like, yeah, that's it, I don't like it. <laughs> it's okay, we tried, we tried. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. in um, Berry Bad. Look how cute this palette is, Berry Bad. So we are gonna do, Oops. all right, I had to stop the video. Um, it was at 20 minutes. This one is gonna be a different color. Ooh, really pretty though. This is the Berry Bad palette and I'll show you how I'm gonna get it to look similar. Oh my gosh. It blend, they almost look the same. This blends so easily. Look at how quickly I put that on. Took no time at all. I'm gonna go under my eye. Okay. We'll clean it all up later. And then do you see this kind of berry shimmer? I feel like if I put this over this, it creates this. Yep. Yep, now they look more similar. Okay, so what I need I'll just do this. Oh yeah. They look really similar. Like if I was going out to eat tonight, I don't think anyone would know I had two different eyes on. Does it, is it my imagination or does that look the same? Okay, look at that. I might even like this one better because it's layered. Do you see that little bit of like it's like a soft mulberry. These are like $3. I don't know how Elf does it. I'm gonna tell you something. They're really nice. We'll see how long they stay on, you know? We'll see, we'll see if it holds up. Okay, now I'm gonna take this like lighter cream shade and I'm gonna go along the edges to blend the edges. Yeah, and kind of go onto the brow bone a little bit because it helps it look more smooth and blended. And then on this side, I'm gonna go up here. Ooh, take this kind of sand color. Kind of do the same thing where I'm kind of blending the two. Okay, so I did a shimmery, do you see that shimmer I done on the brow bone? We gotta make that even and fair. So I'm gonna take this shimmer here and we're gonna go like this. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. And then we're also gonna go on the inner eye because you know I love, I love a shimmer on the inner eye. It just makes my eyes feel light and bright. Okay. And then on this eye, I'm gonna do this one. I kind of wipe off the brush in between to make it fair. This one's a little bit brighter, but they're both kind of a candlelit color. That is very pretty. Okay. Let me see how it looks. I'm gonna clean it all up after I do my makeup. I love it. I love it. Okay, eyeliner.
I'm really excited about complexion today because I'm going to show you a new complexion product that I've used for months, but I haven't used on YouTube yet. I have not used it. Okay, I'm going to do the um, e.l.f. No Budge Retractable Eyeliner. Oh yeah, I've got stuff all over my face. This is why I do eyes first. I'm doing black just because I'm in a hurry and it'll look instantly dark and it'll make my lashes look dark. But I probably would love a dark brown with this, but I couldn't find my e.l.f. dark brown. And I do have L'Oreal, but I just did black. It'll look pretty on camera. Black also looks pretty for special occasions. We're just doing... We're just doing some black, okay? And I went into the waterline and I'm only doing the top, the tight line on the top. I'm not gonna do my lower waterline because this is more of a soft glam, not a heavy, um, not a heavy um, smoky eye or anything. I only really like going on my lower rim if I'm doing kind of a, a special look or a smoky eye. You almost have to do your rim. I've got two different eyes, two different eyebrows. I'm so jealous of anyone who's symmetrical. Some of you are. It's just, you always have to like look in the mirror and balance. Okay, that's the Makeup Forever. It's my favorite black pencil I own. Um, okay, I have, I'm gonna take this dry. Oh, I have no fallout on the Charlotte Tilbury side, so make note of that, but this I had a lot of fallout from the shadow. It's okay, it's $3 versus like 40. For that price, we can handle a little. All right, I'm looking in the mirror and this size more rosy and this size more brown. So let me tell you what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna take a fluffy brush. It's gonna take a big fluffy brush. I'm gonna take this copper color I know it doesn't really matter to any of you, but I really want it to look similar. Oh, that's so pretty. I did a little bit of, I, I brushed a little copper because it was looking more purpley mulberry. Not that that's a bad thing. Not a bad thing. I love it. And then I'm just gonna, okay. They're a little bit more even Steven. They're not gonna be 100% anyway because I couldn't find an exact match. Guess what time it is? It is lashes. It's lashes time and I am going to use my Jenny Patinkin eyelash curler. It's the best, best, best in the business. I probably am gonna do a half lash today too. I really wanna do a half lash. Okay, I'm gonna do the e.l.f. lash extension one on my left eye. Again, I like tubing mascara the best, and this is a tubing mascara. My favorite tubing in the drugstore is Milani. It's $14.99, it's my favorite. To me, it's the most like Thrive Cosmetics, and the Thrive Cosmetics is probably my favorite tubing mascara, and I think Milani did a great job in that it makes your lashes really long and feathery, but also gives them some nice volume without being too thick and chunky. 
even though you know I love a Tammy Faye lash, but you know, I go for a different look with tubing mascara. Tubing mascara is not gonna give you that Tammy Faye chunky, you know, voluminous eyelash. And that's okay. I like different looks with my eyelashes. But this is nice. Do you see that? Let's see. Let's see it from the side. Do you see it? It's really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and do it on the lower lashes too. Did I tell you I'm getting a new iPhone next month in September? And I'm so nervous about it because it's an updated camera. And I'm gonna tell you something. It's really hard to get <laughs> high def newer technology at this age. It's just not flattering. It's just not, it's not flattering. Um, but we got to keep up with technology and my phone's getting older. So I'm going to give my phone to Grace. What's going on here? Uh, Gracie, my daughter. And then I am going to get a new phone. Many of you have told me about this Cali Ray tubing mascara and um, they sent it to me quite a long time ago and it sat in my C drawer, my Cali Ray drawer with also Chanel and Charlotte Tilbury and I totally forgot I had it, but holy moly, are you seeing this? that noticeable difference. This is not bad, this is noticeable difference. Really long, much longer. And you know, it went viral at one point and I just didn't use it, I don't remember why. Maybe I didn't have it yet. And then they sent it to me and I remember being excited and then it went in a drawer. So um, I get it. Thank you so much for those of you who told me on one of my last videos to do the Cali Ray. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. This is absolutely beautiful. They only make one, Cali Ray only makes one and it's called the he Hell or High Water. I don't know, anyway. Do you see that? Let's see. I don't know, I'm probably not doing this well. Okay, and then let's see this one. Can you see that one? I don't know. I don't know if that's a useful exercise, but there we are, I love it. Okay. I'm all cleaned up under the eyes. I did want to put Charlotte Tilbury shimmer. She's known for her spectacular shimmers. I'm going to do it on, look at that. Oh, that is so pretty, that beautiful shimmer. And I don't have a similar shimmer with elf so but I do have a shimmer I have this little gold one and I'm gonna do it and the, oh my gosh that's pretty too it's just two different looks this is more of a gold shimmer and this is more of like a champagne taupe again both both are beautiful both are beautiful I'm not mad okay what's what's time for com complexion so with complexion, I am I'm gonna use this complexion brush by ooh, I'm itchy by my friend Crystal Lee. See it? It's really nice. I'm gonna use that. And
What color is this? Nope. Let's see the right one. Here we go. L2 Neutral by About Face. I didn't like this when I first reviewed it. Um, maybe I did do this on YouTube. Did I do this on YouTube? I didn't like it at first. Then I went with a darker color that had more peach in it because, you know, I always say go a little bit darker through the pores because darker colors don't show texture. But then it was too dark for my jawline and neck. So then when I went to the Half Magic photo shoot where I, in May, I was their model for the new Sparkle Stick, which is right here. It's so pretty. I did a whole Instagram and YouTube on that. Um, I mean, TikTok. Anyway. They, the, the makeup artist used this on me and it was stunning. It was stunning. Comes in glass. Or is this plastic? Oh, that's plastic. I always thought that was glass. Nope, it's plastic. Okay, so I'm going to take it right there on my hand and I'm gonna kinda work it into the brush. We're gonna do half my nose, half my face with this. And it's really beautiful. I'm gonna need a little bit more. I will tell you a lot of pro makeup artists are starting to love this and starting to put it in their pro kit because it's that good. It really is such a beautiful foundation. I think it's about $22. Ulta is having a sale on it, but of course, by the time you see this, it'll be over. On Friday, I'll, it's gonna be in my stories, but on Friday the 30th, which by the time you're watching this, that was yesterday, it is 50% um, off. I would say $11 for a full bottle of foundation is amazing. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. To me, it was going to be the closest to Charlotte Tilbury beautiful skin. It's gorgeous. I'm L2, light neutral. Um, and now we're going to take Charlotte Tilbury beautiful skin which you saw me use in the Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm gonna use, uh, let's see. I'm gonna use this, no. I'm gonna use Jenny Patinkin. Good old Jenny, yeah, I'm gonna use Jenny Patinkin, okay. By the way, I told Jenny Patinkin that every every time I use this, people ask about this bag. And I said, is there any way you can sell it without the brushes in it? She's going to let me know. Because every time I show that Jenny Patinkin bag, people, at least, I don't know, three, four people are like, I need that bag. I would buy that right now. And I'm like, I know. I use it every day. It's great for double-ended brushes like Jenny Patinkin, like... Saint, and I travel with it. I never travel without it. It's just, it's beautiful. I'm gonna need one more. I did about a half a pump. One pump would be too much. Holy moly, is this pretty too. Really, really pretty. I do need color corrector under my nose. I'll tell you that right now. Okay. Of course, I've cut all these baby hairs and now they're in my way and they're driving me nuts. You see my, all my silver growing in, but I'm just leaving it for now. It doesn't bother me. It's because I use Demi, so when it grows out, it's like soft. There's not like a big sharp line of demarcation. Um, so I feel like I don't have to do my roots as often as when I use permanent color and then it's like you really have to use, you really have to do your roots every like two to three weeks. Um, all right, wowsy wowsy.
What do we think? Okay, now I'm gonna take my Cami Nguyen. Remember, I haven't done concealer yet. I'm not gonna do color corrector because I don't love Charlotte Tilbury's color corrector. I also don't love the e.l.f. color corrector, but I do have a color corrector video coming down the line. It's just gonna take a long time to do the video, so just stay patient with me. Okay, so there is About Face, and there is Charlotte Tilbury, and let me tell you how it looks close up. Damn it. I... really should have exfoliated. I will say that my Charlotte Tilbury side looks pretty smooth, but the about face, I'm seeing lots and lots of micro flakes. And that's not the fault of the makeup. It's because I didn't exfoliate. And then also the um, the magic cream has a lot of silicone in it, so th some things can ball up on top. Okay, that's better. I just got all the flakes. Sometimes you just have to go in. Plus, I need to derma plane. Hold on, I'm gonna go dampen this more. I'll be back. Look how much bigger it is now. It's so big and bouncy. I forgot to dampen it before the video. Um, also, the Magic Cream by Charlotte Tilbury, which has a primer built in, works really well with the Charlotte Tilbury Foundation, but the About Face is a different formulation, so I'm just wondering if it's pilling a little bit because of the Magic Cream. But guess what? This is working. I'm going to dermaplane tomorrow. I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm getting my disport done right here. Now remember it wore off my eyes so my little half moon eyes are back. I can do bunny nose so it wore off my nose. It wore off my lips so I'm a little bit more downturn but we're done. Done. Never Botoxing your, under the mouth again. Um, so I am going to go and just go right here tomorrow. Let me know if anyone is interested in a Botox Disport video or Neurotoxin video. If not, I'm not gonna waste your time or mine, but if that's something you'd be interested in, I could definitely talk about it. Okay, this is looking better because of the more moisture in the sponge and I bounced off all the flakes. Now, This is doing it here too. You know what else? I'm gonna tell you something else. Um, I did this stupid peel the other night that I thought was just like a simple peel. It was by Beekman. It was called the potato peel. I'm like, how, how strong could it be? It's an at-home, over-the-counter peel, right? I do TCA. I can handle strong peels. I do Mandelic. I can handle... This peel was strong, y'all. The Beekman potato peel, you put it on, you leave it five to ten minutes, you take it off, and I have been... I was pink for a couple days. I've been flaking. <laughs> so I would say it was a good peel, um, but I was not expecting that, and when you know you have to film, you try to plan your peels around filming. Okay, that's as good as that's going to get. Thank you for your time. I'm going to do the e.l.f. powder. Um, oh, dang it. Let me tell you something. They just kill me with this drugstore packaging. They kill me. They kill me with this drugstore packaging. And I really wanted to use this because this is their Halo Glow one. 
Although it might have a shimmer in it. Do we even want to try that with mature skin? Let me tell you right now if it does. Let's see. No, that looks good. No, that looks beautiful. Okay, we're going to do the halo powder. This is gorgeous. It's got the pink lid. It's called the Halo Glow Setting Powder. Yo, I'm impressed. You know, everyone's been in an uproar about this Givenchy powder being changed. They put a bunch of mica in it and now it's really shiny glowy instead of beautiful and velvety. That, come on, are my eyes deceiving me? That looks good. What is this, six bucks? Telling you. Okay, we're gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury one. I'm just gonna use the same brush. I love her airbrush powder. I use this in my kit. I love it. Let's see. Oh yeah. Her powder is more invisible, but this is also like close to $40. So I do like the powder better, but how is it going to look at the end of the day? Are we going to even notice a difference? I kind of doubt if we'll even notice a difference. Okay. I'm going to do her contour wand, which I did in the video. And I was super impressed with this. Ooh. I don't know y'all, did I just do too much? Um, now I'm gonna use this crystal Lee brush. It just blends like butter. I just love these Charlotte Tilbury wands. They just blend so beautifully. I don't go, some people go too low with their contour and some people go too high. I just kind of go right above where the natural shadow is to help lift that shadow rather than it going too low. And then this one you want to blend it. I'm just gonna do the Charlotte Tilbury under here, not the Elf, because I think they're probably pretty similar. That one's looking under my chin anyway. I do have to blend that out because that got too strong. Okay, that's nice. That's a nice shadow. And then this one, Pretty. Oh, we didn't do the nose. Uh, I've noticed in some videos I'm not blending my nose contour really well. And I only notice it when I get close to camera. And I'm like, gosh, that's just one of the hard things about getting older is something might look really good as I'm looking in the mirror behind here. But then when I see it 
after and I'm editing and then I'm like, holy moly, that wasn't even blended, but now it's too late because the video's done. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, now this is the e.l.f. contour wand. I don't know if I've used this. First time I've never used it's brand new. I'm gonna do a few extra. Tay! That's a nice color. This actually might be nice for a lot of you with light skin because it's not as warm as the Charlotte Tilbury, but Charlotte Tilbury is known for going really warm with her bronzers and contour. I'm gonna do the top of my nose. That's just a trait of, of Charlotte. She likes really warm. She thinks it's more flattering. And even if you don't like warm colors on yourself, I'm pretty sure if Charlotte did your makeup, you would look crazy stunning because she's so incredibly talented. I feel like this looks more like a shadow and this looks more like makeup, but that's okay. No one said this was a dupe. We don't say that word on my channel. I hate that word. Please spread the word. If anyone says a dupe, please tell them what a dupe is. Respectfully, of course. But I'm, let, let's stop the dupe word, please. Can you all help me? Let's stop that dupe word. I'm just over it. I know exactly why people do it too. They just do it to get you to watch. But I think it's cheap. I think it's a cheap trick. There's a really cute girl on TikTok who is um, autistic. So she, and the reason I say autistic is she talks about that. She's like, I'm slightly autistic. So that's good for you. Cause that means I, will spend like eight hours researching dupes. And to her, everything is a dupe, but she's not a makeup artist. She's just a girl who started a TikTok and she calls everything a dupe rooney which is cute. You know, it's her own little saying, dupe rooney And she only buys things from the Dollar Tree because she's, you know, doesn't have a big budget. Of course, now she probably gets so many millions of views, I'm sure she's getting paid quite well from TikTok. But she calls everything a dupe rooney And she'll tell you, oh, this foot powder is the same as this high-end. Well, so she gets a lot of clicks because, you know, she gets a lot of views because women want to hear, do you mean instead of buying this $50 powder, I can buy foot powder and put it on my face? You know what I mean? So, she gets a lot of views, but she's incorrect on almost all of it. Once in a while, I'm like, oh, that's a, that's a good, that's a good substitute. Let's call it substitute and not dupe, right? Substitute is a good word. So I'll be like, that's a good substitute, but it's not a dupe. Okay. That's very pretty. It's not as pretty as this side, but it's very pretty. I might go a little... And remember, this comes in different colors, the e.l.f. So this one is called um, light, light medium. I got light medium, okay? Mine is light medium. So if you are fair, you can even go lighter than this. But it almost has a little bit of coolness to it but at the same time kind of a I don't know almost like an olive I don't know I can't put a finger on why I don't like this one as much it doesn't look as much like a real shadow it kind of looks like I did a darker foundation right there does that make sense that's how I feel it feels like I just did a darker foundation and not necessarily a true contour, which this one looks like a true contour. Okay, 
And then I've got two different blushes. I've got the pink gasm and then Elf's version of the pink gasm. So let's let's try it. Let's see what we think. I haven't used this one yet by Charlotte Tilbury because in the last video I did with you, I used her matte blush and today we're using pink gasm, which let's try. It's going to be like the orgasm, which is basically a pink with a like a, a nice shimmer, like a gold shimmer. It might have less gold. I don't see gold. Okay, so that's why she doesn't call it orgasm. She calls it pinkasm. It's actually a warm pink with a pink shimmer. It's not actually... Um, let me do a little bit on the nose. I like a little blush on the nose. It's not, see the color? That's pretty. It's a, it's a warm rose with a pink shimmer. It does not have a gold shimmer. So that's good for many of you who can't do gold. You're more of a silver girl. You're more of a champagne or silver. You don't like gold. And I don't blame you. You don't have to. Okay, and then we're going to do this one which looks like i've used this before so i must have used this a long time ago Ooh, this looks more pigmented we're about to find out this also is a warm pink with a pink shimmer this blended easier but I'm going to tell you, if I had to say the word dupe, this might be about the closest dupe I've ever seen. This is, again, a little bit more, like, looks like a filter. It's a little bit more, like, diffused than this one. But I'm impressed. I think these are like $8. I'm impressed. Really, really, truly. Okay, lips. Lippy, lippy, lip. Um, I'm going to do my good old MAC strip down on this side. Notice how I don't go all the way to the corner, kind of go. Isn't it amazing? Look at my lips here. Look at this. Looks like I got lip filler. I'll take it. I'll take it. Now, I don't know if this liner will be the same color. Oh. Well, it kind of looks the same color. This is the e.l.f. $2 pencil. And of course, the name is not on here. But it's this. It's the one that I think they're making look like Max Strip Down. Uh, they look really similar. The reason I would say this is not a dupe is this is creamier. Max Strip Down is drier and therefore I think it stays on longer. I love Max Strip Down. I've worn it for 20 years, maybe more. When they started, when Spice started going really orangey in the 90s, I switched to Strip Down. Oh yeah. I would say color wise, 
there's maybe a 5% difference. Maybe. And this is two bucks. I just can't tell you which color it is, but it's the one that looks kind of light brown. Okay. And then I'm going to use the beautiful Plump Gasm on this side. Rob just went to pick up burgers, so I'm gonna eat this off pretty quickly. But so that's probably the only thing you won't see at the end of the day. I won't come back. I won't come back and have fresh lips on. Sorry, my alarm just went off for um, post. I need to post on TikTok. Um, I'm gonna use this new Elf Sun Boss Gloss. These are new. They're so pretty. I can't remember if they were sent to me or if I bought them. This color is called Pink Me Girl. Pink Me Girl, but see how it's a muted pink? It felt a lot like the Charlotte Tilbury one, except this doesn't plump. Ah, oh my gosh. So it's a little shinier. I would say it's about 10% pinker. It's maybe a little bit shinier and it doesn't plump. I could have done a plumping. I have, I have plumping, but I really wanted to try these new Sun Boss Gloss SPF 25. That's why. Lord knows I don't wear enough SPF on my lips. I'm really bad about it. Okay, guess what? Guess what time it is? Oh, we didn't do concealer. We didn't do concealer. How did I forget that? Okay, remember I have that Aquaphor under my eyes. I'm gonna do the tiniest bit of the Charlotte Tilbury Radiant Skin in For fair, probably gonna be too light for me, to be honest. It's probably gonna be too light. Oh, where is my favorite brush? Oh, I'm dropping everything. I'm just dropping everything. I hate it when I know I have a brush and I can't find it. It's not in here. Doggone it. Where is it? Is it in here? No. No. y'all I'm, I'm freaking losing my mind when I tell you I feel like I'm losing my mind I'm not kidding I am not kidding I feel like I'm losing my damn mind that I can't find the simplest things when I just saw them it's probably right in front of me and I can't see it and I want to scream okay we're going to use this little rougher I'm going to prime it this is called priming the brush. That is a Katie Jane Hughes trick. I learned it from her. I'm not smart enough to figure that one out. And I give her the credit because when I see someone come up with something great and bring it to internet and then everyone acts like they created priming the brush, it makes me angry. I'm so sick of people not giving the right people credit Okay, it's a little too light for me, but it's very pretty. It's very radiant. Remember, I have the Aquaphor under it. I'm not gonna powder over it. I never powder under my eyes. You can, you absolutely can powder under your eyes. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. 
is the elf brush, but I don't care. I just have to bring it. Sometimes the concealer goes down into the blush and then it screws up the blush after you spent all that time putting it on. Where? Where's my elf concealer? Yeah, I got the help, uh, elf hydrating camo. It's Look how it looks pretty yellow, but you know what? It's okay. It's okay. We're going to do it. We're going to make it work. I'm going to use this little brush. I like this brush a lot. See how I'm priming it? I'm getting the concealer really into that brush. So when I tap it, ooh, got too much on there. You end up using less product by priming the brush. You get it into the brush. And then you just pat it where you need it. Now this one blended in already. That's the good old fashioned. That's the beautiful Charlotte Tilbury. here and kind of make sure this outer shadow is nicely blended with a little bit. Okay, now that I put it on with the brush, because the it didn't like kind of melt into my skin the way that Charlotte Tilbury one did, I'm just going to pat it with my finger. And that's okay. I've used lots, I've used lots of high-end concealers that I have to do this to. But yeah, this is not blending in, like melt. it's not melting into my skin the way the Charlotte Tilbury one did. But again, the Charlotte Tilbury one is probably around $30 and I think this is probably under 10. So, and I think this is a better color. This is a little too light, but again, you know, we can't fault the, the shades necessarily, okay? Now we have e.l.f. e.l.f. setting spray. You know what? I'm not going to use this one. That's a dewy set. I don't want dewy setting spray. I'm already dewy. I'm going to do this new L'Oreal Infallible. They sent this to me and I have not used it. I almost bought it when it first went viral. And then I thought, ah, oh, they'll probably send it to me. And they did. Woo! That has lots of fragrance in it. Oof. Boy, that smells good though. Like I kind of want to go over my whole body with this. 36 hour defy transfer. That's, that's pretty. We'll see. Okay, and then I'm gonna use my good old Charlotte Tilbury. And remember, I like to really douse that skin this dries damn it look do you see how i'm dropping everything i'm losing my mind y'all losing my damn mind okay um this side dried fast because i think it has a lot of alcohol so this side the charlotte tilbury setting spray is what i use in my pro kit and it's the one that when I do someone's makeup, like let's say I'm doing a wedding. Cause at photo shoots, you're constantly touching up TV, film, live studio, ESPN. You're constantly going in and touching up talent. But when you're doing a wedding, when you've got eight bridesmaids and you start early in the morning and then you have to pack up and leave and everyone needs, their, everyone lip needs their lips and powder touched up at the end of the day, um, I notice that people are not as greasy after five, six, seven hours because I've locked them in with that Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. That's how I knew that was a winner. And I, you know, I've been using it for maybe six years and it's just, it's the best. It's in my pro kit and it's the one I love best on myself. Now, if I wanted a clean, a clean, clean setting spray, I love the Cali Ray. It's really nice. It's surf proof, so it really locks your makeup on. It's clean beauty. I love this one. But when using Charlotte Tilbury, I think it makes sense to use Charlotte Tilbury. Don't you agree? Okay, let's see how my 
bangs look after I cut them. I cut my bangs myself. I think that looks good. I needed them to swoop higher. They were swooping down here and it was like, I don't know, it just, it wasn't working. Um, I'm not gonna do fake lashes today because I think this looks really great and I would actually go anywhere in this and feel really pretty. I might do a half lash, but um, I don't think that the look needs it. I think this mascara is really long and pretty and it feels, it just, it feels darling. I love it. What do you think? Can you tell the difference? I really can't. I can't tell a difference. Um, <laughs> my forehead looks identical. I'm looking at the uh, the contour on both sides. I'm looking at the center. I'm looking over the eyebrows. They look identical. Um, the nose looks identical. The under eyes, this one's prettier but I wish it wasn't too light. I need a deeper Charlotte Tilbury concealer, but this isn't bad. I mean, like this, this, this would pass for my stamp of approval, um, but I got the Aquaphor under it. It makes all the difference. The cheeks, almost identical. I think this has a little bit more, it feels more like a filter. The highlights feel more diffused. This feels maybe just a little bit sharper, but again, like I'm looking at, I'm scrutinizing it with a 30 year professional makeup artist point of view, right? So the lips look identical. I'm not joking. The lips look identical, identical. I mean, <laughs> where's the gloss? Where, what did I do with it? This sun gloss SPF 25, pink me girl with this, this is under 10 bucks. That's under 10 bucks and it's literally identical. I'm not joking. It might be, that could easily, I could easily say that was a dupe, except this side's plumping and, and like prickly and this side's not. Okay, I'm looking at my jawline. Both look great. I'd say maybe the Charlotte Tilbury complexion's a little bit prettier, but again, um, I love this and I probably wouldn't put the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream under it, but I wanted just to do even Steven, so I did. Next time, I don't. Th I think I would just stick with the um, Sonia Roselli Water Balm. Also, I'm going to be reviewing this for my oily girls. This is the new Vichy. Um, it's a sorbet. It's a matte sorbet moisturizer. Doesn't that sound nice for those of you that like to be less dewy and you're maybe a little dewy naturally because of your oily skin. Um, eyebrows feel the same. Eyeliner. I like the Makeup Forever better hands down and I like the Cali Ray ma mascara better, but like there is not a person on earth that would know I had two different sides of face. Unless someone was really studying my eyes, like this is more rosy brown and this is more like rosy. You can see some mulberry and some gold and it's beautiful, but they don't look identical. But again, I'm, I don't think many people would know. There you go. There you go, y'all. I mean, drugstore is just that good. Okay, I'm gonna check back in about seven hours. We're gonna see how both sides look. I am not gonna touch up at all. So when I come back tonight, obviously a gloss isn't long wearing. Obviously 
we touch up glosses during the day. Obviously, we touch up pencils after we eat. So when I come back tonight to show you the two sides, I'm not gonna have lips on, okay? I'm just not. But everything else I'm not gonna touch, and we're gonna see how it all looks tonight. I'll be back. Okay, it's midnight. My family is sleeping. I need to go take my makeup off, but I wanted you to see how this looks eight hours later. Now, granted, I wasn't outdoors in the heat. Tea just left. Um, I wasn't at work. I was just home all day in air conditioning, doing nothing strenuous but emails today and editing. So, you know, take that all with a grain of salt. But I will say it doesn't look, it still looks pretty good on camera. I felt like when I first put it on, you almost couldn't tell, other than the eyeshadows being slightly off in color, you couldn't tell. I thought it looked very even Steven, like you almost couldn't tell which side was bougie, which side was budget. What I noticed a couple hours ago and what I'm noticing now, and I don't know if you can tell, but this is starting to look a little patchy. Um, and I would say I'm looking a little patchy right here and here. And this side's looking a little more, I think, prettier. I think this side's looking prettier and still put together and this side's starting to break apart a little bit. Um, let me just quickly get my mirror. Let's see. Um, under eyes look great. Under eyes look great on both. Eyeshadows look great on both. This got a little more purple more purpley, coppery and purpley. Um, the forehead looks great. Yeah, everything looks really still like a, I would say this still looks very much like a filter. And this side's um, just looking a little blotchy and patchy. And then of course, oh my nose is, I'm flaking on my nose. Look, I still have my lip liner on though, look kind of came off down here. Obviously the gloss wore off. So anyway, I think that's the real difference in a lot of drugstore versus higher end is the formulas aren't always as long wearing. Now there are exceptions, of course, but with drugstore, you're getting um, cheaper packaging so they can afford to sell it for less and the wearability and longevity is not quite the same as a higher end product. Um, I've never bought into the fact that, oh, drugstore's as good as luxury, you're just paying for packaging. I've never bought into that fact. I know too many product developers and cosmetic chemists to debunk that theory. I think some people just like hearing that. It makes them feel better to think that if they bought drugstore, it's equal to luxury. Um, it's not, but I will always do drugstore here because you saw this this morning it was very pretty. If I was out at like a beautiful um, event or a wedding, you know, nighttime has dimmer lighting. And so this side would, you know, definitely be acceptable. It's just not as polished as this side. And I think that's the real difference, okay? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I love you, God loves you, and I will see you back here next week. Happy Labor Day weekend. Bye for now.